The stage is set for the running of the 11th Coolangatta Gold here at Currawa Beach. It'll be a hive of activity come uh, Sunday morning at 7 o'clock when the gun goes for the men's race and then 8.15 for the women. Uh, a lot has been said and all the training has been done and uh, we're going to see some of the best athletes in surf sports go around on Sunday. We're going to hear from some of the girls today, uh, in particular Hayley Badup and also Liz Plumers. A lot of attention on this year's girls race and uh, with the men it's Kane Eckstein going for his fifth race. But let's hear from Hayley Badup and also Liz Plumers. Um, this year's Cooling Out of Gold I'm really looking forward to actually. Um, the previous years I've sort of just done the race because it's been there to do and it's something to train for in the off season. So this year I've really put in the effort and the time and all the training sessions have been 100%. So um, feeling good and hopefully everything sort of comes together in the race. It would definitely be nice to be standing on the top of the podium at the end of the day, but um, there's so many factors involved and things that can go wrong and things that can go right. So depending on what the wind's doing and the tactics of the other girls, hopefully my race plan comes together in the end. Yes, I mean, you can't really um, pick out a certain winner, which is really, really good. It sort of gives a little bit of hype around it and it sort of gets you motivated and gives you a little bit of, I don't know, sort of excitement ready to race what comes Sunday. Um, it won't really worry me either way, but um, I would like to see a little bit of a wave and, and possibly some wind about just to kind of break it up a little bit. Otherwise, everyone just kind of sits in the ski if it's dead flat and, you know, it becomes like long and drawn out. So if it makes it also a bit tougher if there's a bit of a wind, if maybe if we have a, the wind behind us on the way down to um, Corumban and then have to punch into it on the way home, I'd be happy to do that. I mean, you always want to be in front, you know, like I, I, I like to be in front, but, um, you know, if I'm if I'm down a, a minute or two, that's okay also. Um, I know that I'm running really well and um, it's going to be hard sand as well. So the, the harder the sand, probably the better I can really get some speed up and, and catch. But, you know, obviously it'd be a lot better being in front and then not having to chase. Um, the, the last seven and a half Ks, I probably break it down to surf clubs and, and just like try to work to each surf club instead of like just looking at the point where I have to finish. Um, yeah, I just kind of break it down that way. And you know, two years ago, um, I knew I was catching her um, pretty quickly, and you know, then I caught Elizabeth, and you know, so I was catching, and um, so that was mainly what I was thinking the whole time. And just like I kind of built into it, and then just worked pretty hard. There's a lot of really good girls in there, and you know, we we all talk about me and Elizabeth and Courtney, but you can't rule any of the other girls out. You know, there's some really good athletes in there, and you never know. So there you have it, the final word of this year's Cool and Gatter Gold. The stage is set for a tremendous day on Sunday and we look forward to um, some great results from not just the elite athletes but all those competitors who will line up in all the various categories in the 2011 Cool and Gatter Gold.